Hello everyone, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and almost Happy New Year. It's the very end of 2025. Hopefully 2026 is going to be fantastic for you. And you can start by using a brand new command called label as modeling component. Label as modeling component. What is it? With label as modeling component, you can select components in an assembly like so that will be able to be changed as you use the move uh, command uh, as you reposition other components. So for example, this rotor and these magnets um, need to have a move. They, they need to be raised up and I want these brackets to update commensurately. So I'm going to go to the move command and I'm going to select the rotor and I'm going to select the magnets and I'm going to specify an orientation. I'm going to plug them in. I'm going to put a two inch uh, dimension change, hit enter and watch as the brackets are automatically updated to be uh, commensurate with the move to the magnets in the rotor. The uh, little fan here and the nuts and the bolts and the washers, they moved also because they had assembly constraints. But what's so fantastic is now if I go into that bracket and I open it in a window, not the bracket, the not that bracket, the, sorry, the, <laughs> this bracket, uh, these brackets here, and I open that in the window, and now you can see that if I go to the part navigator, there's a change face command, so that is a kind of a synchronous modeling command, and it makes the uh, bracket uh, much taller to be commensurate with that two-inch move. Again, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. Thanks for watching. If you want this assembly, this whole assembly, I will email it to you if you contact me, and then you can play around with it as well. Thank you very much.